Hello YouTube, what is up? It is Steven. As you can see straight away, I'm going to get right into this because there's no point in hiding it. I have decided that I'm going to be getting pro -up. I know a lot of you, a lot of you, have uh, commented saying reasons why not to get it in my previous video, which is linked on the screen now, um, which was a Vesta PK commentary. A lot of you have given me reasons why not to get it, but also a lot of you have given me very decent reasons why to get it. Now, firstly, I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons against this. Um... Wow, I'm wasting my XP. I am using someone else's house as they go along. Um, this person's been open all day. But the pro pros about 99 prayer is that the fact that if they ever decided to bring any new prayers out for over 95 prayer, that would be a a win-win situation because I'd already have 99 prayer or something like that. Um, the fact that it's another 99 on my account, which puts it up a rank... Uh, well, let me think of some more pros about it. It's, I like the 99. It's some. It's an achievement. It's a. It's another achievement for myself. It shows that I'm not the same as everybody else because a lot of people do stick with 95. Some some room pures, um, even big room pures get 99 prayer, but a lot don't. So I'm one of the few that I at, like have it or I'm getting it. Uh, so yeah, I know that was, there's not really many pros on, pros on 99 prayer because it doesn't really affect me. You're going to see me getting 96 in a minute, um, 30 minutes ago, sweet. But the cons against this would be I get an extra combat level, which is always bad in the wilderness. Like higher combat means higher fights, means higher defense, all better trained accounts than me, which I'm not too fussed about personally myself because the bait is going to ruin it anyway in my opinion but hey hey the other cons are that it does cost money which money a lot of people don't have money which luckily I'm one of these type of people who I'm not too scarce about money I don't mind spending money on things like this even if it cleaned me I'd prefer having skills over stats which one of my close friends has been telling me all week uh, well, yeah, that's really all I can think of cons, unless that you could say that I'm trying to copy people, which I can assure you that I'm not. Um, I know, I'm th I know, it's like one of those things where I've got to think off the top of my head what the cons are because I haven't really got a list, whereas a lot of people write down a list. But I suppose the other thing is that it's time-consuming because at the moment I'm using dragon bones. I'm not using a bone runner, so it's taking me a lot longer to be able to get it up. Which this game, I suppose, it's one of those things where it's time consuming anyway. Because I could be PKing right now, and I could lose, uh, I could lose, say, 10 mil from PKing in a day from loads of deaths if I get clawed, killed, or decent. Anything can happen. But I suppose putting my money into something such as this, it's it's beneficial, which I am very proud that I'm actually sitting here doing the time and spending the time and getting 99 prayer. Right, now that's that out of the way, I can talk about other things which I've got planned for you guys for the rest of this week, so listen up. Uh, firstly, I have on, well, tomorrow, which tomorrow, tomorrow's Wednesday, I'll be doing uh, another PK commentary. But this time, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to do a whole range, a uh, half of it being range, six minutes of range, six minutes of polypouring, which I've never, ever done a polypour PK commentary. I don't know what it's like. I know that the only reason why I use Polypore in this game is for those that fungal mages task on RuneScape, and I hit like an absolute bamf. So I will be risking full fungal tomorrow. Hopefully, getting some kills with uh, Vengeance and Polypore, and the range. I'm going to go from range to claws probably. It should be quite exciting because like it's higher. It's not high risking, but I'm. I don't know. Um, and on the Thursday. It'll be the last day. Hopefully I'll have 99 prayer by then. If I don't have it by then, then that will be something to look forward to when I get back. Oh, 96. Whoop, whoop. Um, but yeah, things like that. I'll have a lot coming towards the... Shit, one more XP, what bastard. I have a lot planned, let's say, planned on this account before the combat beta fucks me. Hopefully Jagex will realise that there is a lot of room pures on this game and a lot of them don't want to be getting their defence to 50 because that beats the objective of 40 defence room pure, 40, 40, 60 sort of thing. But we'll see, we'll see that 
It depends. I'm not too overly fussed at the moment. I'll probably still play. I don't think I'll be one of those people who are going to quit just because they've changed the way and the people that run like they're taking a shit. But, you know, I've uh, learned to adapt to things before of the combat, uh, the graphic reworks. So I adapted to that very well. So uh, I don't see why I can't adapt to the beta or whatever the thing is that they're bringing out. Maybe turn into a main one day and do some like insane bossing or something like that. I've never really been into the bossing. I've done bandos and things, but you know how it goes. Uh well, what can I what other things can I talk about? I don't know, I don't really want to talk too long, otherwise it's just gonna bore the living daylights out of you and you guys are gonna be sit there slitting your wrists, getting all bored over me, but let's see. Right, the last thing, what am I doing on holiday? I'm going up t- I'm basically this Friday morning I'll be getting up at like six AM going getting on a coach and going up to like Liverpool. I live right on the bottom, south coast of the UK, so it's like I think it's like a thirteen hour, twelve hour coach journey. As planes and things like that do cost a lot more and if, if I think the difference is I suppose if you're American it would be like I don't know, forty dollars or something like that. And Forty dollars for a coach, and I think for a trainer it, it would be like a hundred and twenty dollars, which is ridiculous. I mean, it is great, it just fucking it's stupid. It is like trains cost so much money in this country, and obviously for the British people, I suppose they already know that the trains are like eighty quid, and the coach is like thirty eight or something like that. But that's pretty much all I'll be doing on Friday, and then I get train, get up there, and I suppose it's it's, it's supposed to me it's a holiday because it's time away from where I live. And where I live at the moment, I I just get bored. I mean, it's the same old, same old. So really, it's I don't know. She just jumped from thirty minutes to ten minutes in like two minutes. But it's 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 away from home, so it's a holiday to me. To be honest, I suppose or traveling, I don't know. But yeah, I'll be going up there. I'll be doing loads of things up there. I might even video things with my phone, put it on, and li- do a little IRL video when I get back. I don't know what you guys think about that. If you can uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to end it up and wrap it up here, as you guys know, 96 prayer, here we go to 99. If you guys can support me, even though you guys obviously aren't, a lot of you don't want me to get it, but I've already gone against that. More voted yes than no, so thank you for watching. Take care, don't forget to thumbs up this video guys, and don't forget to click the previous video in the description if you haven't already seen my Vesta PK commentary. It's quite entertaining, it's quite funny, and that's... That's all I can say, really take care, and I will see you guys tomorrow.